Number three is carbs and fats. So once we figured out total calories and we figured out total protein intake, then we, what we wanna do is we wanna figure out our carbs and fats. Like when you're picking between carbs and fats, just think of the type of person you are. Do you tend to like fats more or do you like to tend, you know, tend to like carbohydrates more? Um, if you're very active, like if you're somebody who does a lot of weightlifting or a lot of sprinting or a lot of high intensity activity, carbohydrates are typically going to fuel that type of activity a lot better. Um, not always, but in a lot of cases, that is going to be what, what you see in, in people that are lifting weights and, and doing high intensity type exercise. If you're re relatively sedentary and you're not really moving that much, like you're not really you know, going for you know, long runs or walks or weightlifting and things like that, maybe you're just getting started with nutrition, then you might like it better to, you know, when it comes to fats, you might like more of your calories coming from fats and that's totally cool. Remember that carbs and fats can be preferential. They can be based on what you like, right? They can help, um, you know, having certain carbs and fats can help you with your, you know, weightlifting or your activity, but it doesn't have to be, you know, set in stone. It can be, you can flex. Um, a lot of times what people will do typically with, you know, when it, if they're really, really advanced is they'll have more of their carbs on their days when they're active and they'll you know, sort of switch their macronutrients to have more fats and less carbs on days when they're not lifting weights or not that active. So you're not saying you have to do that, it's just something that some people choose to do because again, different fuel sources fuel exercise in a different way. Um, for now, if you're sort of just new to this, don't complicate it any more than it already is. Just know that you need to set your carbs and fats up so they work best for you once you have figured out your total calories and your protein intake.